Well, here we are again with another uh, both loved and hated beer, Corona Extra. And as you see, I'm going to try it out both with and without lime today. Um, it's a... Um, 4.6% alcohol by volume beer. Comes from Mexico. Um, not really much to say about that. It's in a clear bottle, as you can see. Which is not really something that's really favored in the beer community. So, okay, so starting out without the lime, go to the appearance. Well, as you can see, both of them, not, not really a bad hat on them, but, although they tend to dissipate, but uh, it's very pale, especially as you can see on this one, maybe this glass, you know. lends itself to better color. And as you see, it does have a lot of carbonation in it. And, okay, going to the smell. You know, when I first had Corona Extra years ago, it was very skunky. There's just a very slight, faint hint of skunkiness in this, but overall, that's gone. It's sort of a... grainy, bready smell. Adjuncts. But not a whole lot to say about that. Okay, so let's taste it without the lime. Well, this really isn't um, all that bad. Because in the past I tasted it, it was really really skunky and sour. This is not. Yeah, you get that. Um. Smell and the taste, too. But that quickly dies away. So without the lime, I'm going to give it a 2.25 out of 5. Just misses making the cut of a bear pass. Okay, so now using my handy dandy uh, camera stand that a friend of mine at work gave me, I'm going to set this down and Uh, 
Um, uh, good enough. Take the second one. Spread the uh, lime wedge around the rim of the glass because, as you may well know, if you're a beer enthusiast, this is a very popular way to drink Corona. That's about enough. And apparently, It was because, like I said, years ago it was um, very skunky and and apparently the lime uh, restored some flavor back to it that was lost in the skunkiness. Okay, so no change in the appearance, of course, so let's go to the smell. Hmm. Not much different than without it. It's just slightly limey. That's just probably the, just the residual lime I've put on the glass now you see yeah yeah okay so let's let's taste it with the lime It only helps a little bit. With lime, I can give Corona a bare pass, but you know, again, having to add something to a, a beer, that's just merely a correction that really means that the beer was not good to start with. So let's go in again. That, you know, residual skunkiness is still there a little bit, but Lime takes some of it out, makes it more tolerable. So, Corona Extra, I'm going to give it 2.25 out of 5 without the lime, and 2.5 out of 5, a bare pass, with the lime. I gotta say, I was surprised that the, a lot of the skunkiness is gone. I don't know what they've done. So if anyone sees this, write in the comments on what it is. Okay, cheers.